I quote UK will have to increase retirement age after voting an election, minister says. Work and pension secretary says his replacement will have to and I quote grasp nettle of bringing forward rise to 68. Ministers will have to grasp the nettle on bringing forward the rise in the national pension age to 68 in the first two of years of the succeeding government, Mel Stride, the work and annuities administrator, has recommended. After procrastinating the resolution because of delaying lifespan, Stride said it would still have to be appropriated, but it would undoubtedly be one for his inheritor in his position and that individuals would still get decade of notification. He also aforementioned there were, and I quote, no plans currently to alter the three-layered latch on increasing pensions in the ensuing conservative policy but stopped short of certifying it would be preserved. Stride made the clarifications as he spoke to the media at a lunch in Westminster when he was asked whether this administration will try to re-examine its policies to elevate the pension age soon considering demonstrations and marches in France. The Work and Pensions Minister, a close friend of Rishi Sunak, said and I quote, I don't think it's in our national psyche to start rioting and burning things over the state pension. Ultimately, I took the decision to delay because of COVID and economic uncertainties and the fact that the important thing is you give people 10 years' notice of any change. The range of dates for the moving up of the state pension age from 67 to 68 is well into the 2030s, you're debating 2030s, 40s or thereabouts. There's no reason why we need to take the decision now, you can wait until the first couple of years of the next parliament, take that decision and still give people 10 years' notice. Though he was also said, and I quote, There is a real tension because if you look at the OBR's fiscal sustainability reports projecting 50 years, the demographic changes and the costs of pensions is really weighing in the wrong direction. So, there is a point in time at which the nettle will have to be grasped, but it doesn't need to be grasped until somebody other than me is in the job. Stride said, submitting he does not perceive himself being work and pensions chief after the next election. A 2017 administration appraisal proposed delivering the concluding series onward to the late 2030s, compelling masses of persons born in the early 1970s who are projected to pension at 67 to delay for an additional year. Hit on pensioners because it's not just the state pension, it's their own money they yeah. put by. Yeah. But, but actually, you know, it, the lifetime allowance on pensions is about a million quid. If you've got a pension pot of a million quid, you know, you're going to be fine. Um, so well, that, although, uh, let, let's reflect, you may be only getting 40 grand back per year on sure, that. Given but but, but, what, but, but know, for the vast terms. majority yeah. of people, a £40,000, you know, guaranteed income for life yeah. is, you know, completely otherworldly. Um, I just want to focus on the inheritance tax threshold, Mark, if I may, because the inheritance... You know, I'm, I'm not qualified to give financial advice. We're an off-com <laughs> channel. No, I, have, I have to say that. Yeah. I have to say that. Yeah. It's very serious it, stuff. The, the FCA. I, I, I yeah, hear a lot yeah, of yeah, journalists yeah, giving financial yeah. advice, and they're you know they're breaking the rules. Yeah. So I'm not qualified to give financial advice. Let me say that I've said it twice. But I'm reporting that the inheritance tax threshold is three hundred twenty-five thousand pounds. So if you're a married couple, it's seven hundred thousand pounds. So if you're if you're bequeathing a house to your kids or an estate which is worth more than seven hundred thousand pounds you're going to pay 40% on the bit that's above the threshold. Now, the thing is, Mark, this inheritance tax threshold, Sunak has already frozen it till 2026. Yeah. He's now, we think, going to freeze it till 2028. But the, the, the absolutely astonishing point, and I didn't realise this until I just looked it up, is that inheritance tax threshold has been at £325,000 since 2009. Yeah. Right? But it's you, been there for 13 and you, years, and it's going to end up being there for almost 20 years. Yeah. And you've, but you've also got within that your main residence as, yeah. as part of that. Yeah. But given what's happened with, in that time period, to uh, prices at house prices, yeah. you're, you're up through the roof, That's literally. That's right. I mean, yeah. if you are a single person and you're bequeathing a home to your kids, right, yeah. 300, a £325,000...